Hello! And welcome to the stream. Today is Ultra Gravitron Day! Time to play a bunch of Gigantics. So I got these Ultra Gravitron decks lined up. And the goal is to just play this card as much as possible. So this deck, I think I'll start with this one because it has two daughters, Lethalogica, Auto Encoder, Cumex. So there are ways to hopefully get to the Ultra Gravitron as fast as possible. And based on uh, conversations I've had with Zoak, we're, or I'm, I'm gonna like have a set of rules for playing Ultra Gravitron. Oh, uh, let's see, maybe I can pull up a notepad. So, if it's coming is first, hold it until we get another half. If we get a half first, uh, discard it? Oh, I guess I haven't figured this part out yet. I think, well, I, I, I can discard it because it's coming can pull a half. Maybe I'll just hold it if I get a half. Do I just hold everything? <laughs> huh. I guess I did, really didn't think this through very well. I was considering if you get the first half, you discard it because it's coming can pull. Hey, Orion. Good evening. If you get a half first, then you can discard it because it's coming pulls that half out of the discard. But the problem is if you pull the second half as the second card, then you have to wait until you get the it's coming to get the piece back from the discard. Hmm. So in that case, I guess it depends if you think you can sustain the chain, right? Because it changes it changes when the chain will apply to your game. If and the chain might not apply at all. So if you discard the first one, then your chain will be later. But if you discard, if you hold it, then your chain will be earlier. Hmm. Maybe that's something to think about for adaptive, the adaptive format when you have chains. Ooh. Oh, if auto encoder is out, that also uh, factors into the equation. Very good point. Because this deck has auto encoder, so I would be more incentivized to discard it. Yeah. Okay. So if we have the first half and auto encoder is out, discard it. Yeah, we're just gonna write out some rules and follow them every time and just see what happens. And then if bad things happen, then we can adjust the rules to accommodate it. Okay. Well, uh, if, okay, so if we get a half first and we can sustain the chains, like the opponent is going slowly, then hold it. Otherwise, discard it. Okay. I guess that's all the rules that we need to write because, oh, well, 
if we get the second half next, hold it. We're going to hold it. Hello, Lazarus. What are these emotes? Is that? Oh, that is a Dinobot. Hello. <laughs> nice. I thought it was a giraffe for a second because it's really small, but it is a dinosaur. Okay. If we get the second half next, then we're going to hold it. So the idea is that we force, we're going to force playing it. So we're not going to, we're not just going to discard it and give up playing Ultra Gravitron. We're always going to play it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with this one. Oh, but see, oh, let's see, Benjikot. Yeah. I was just checking them out. And this one is 0-3. What happened? It was on stream, so I could go back and check, but... Let's see if we can change this. Benji. So it's got an Amber Illusion, which is pretty weird. Oh, Standardized Testing, which hits the Ultra Gravitron. That kind of stinks. Uh, we could ult Lost in the Woods the Ultra Gravitron, though. That could be a fun play if it's late in the game. Or, like, not even if it's late in the game. If we just play Ultra Gravitron Archive 5, we could just shuffle Ultra Gravitron and probably have a good chance of just playing it again naturally. The natural Ultra Gravitron. Uh, so yeah, this deck doesn't have that much... Well, it does have two shoulder ids for creature protection. Hmm, so what was, the, what was this deck struggling with? Probably like this creature control, because it hurts itself a lot. Although, Amberlution would be sick with the daughters, right? Because I could call Untamed with the daughters in hand, do stuff, and then play this. I get the daughters out and then draw up. This doesn't work with Ultra Gravitron because it won't trigger the play effect. But it does work with daughters because those are just a static. Let's see, what else could it work with? The Reckless Rizzo would be nice, I suppose. Let's see, what's the... Okay, so I guess this... Somehow, Ultra Gravitron doesn't break eight points in this deck. Wow. Lethologicus Energy. And the archiving stuff. Anti Steel. Oh, yeah, it's got this Maverick Gizzle Hearts standard. Do I have capturing? An opportunist? No. Right, so not much capturing to go with that. Because the standard is not a very strong maverick, it seems. At least in these houses. Could be good with, like, Opportunist, Old Bruno. Huh, kind of a slow night, I suppose.
Um, okay, let's see. I have this open. Suppose if we're going to wait. I can show off this project I've been working on. So it's a So it's um, Amber animations in in TCO. So let's see. Oh, I should just get use the. Okay, so so I set the Amber totals to be. Hi, kitty. Oh, here I'll turn the. So if you play the Crassosaurus, then it shows these amber going to the center. Oh, I can speed it up a little bit, I guess. So it exiles it over, and then regrettable meteor, so the amber goes to you, and then see there's the part with the saurians, so oh, that was forging a key. Oh, um... Yeah, oh, actually, I wanted to play in that qualifier. Uh, I had forgotten about it. Oh, yeah, well, not really. I hadn't forgotten about it. Uh, it was the 75 SAS triad, right? And so... Uh, one of the decks I'm playing... Or two of these decks I'm playing today qualify for that... For that SAS cap. I don't know if I want to play these decks though Shadows, because I get to settle out of them. All right, let's see. I don't need to taunt that. Ooh, they discard Shrix. Good. Good. I could have mulliganed for, like, one of these three cards, but whatever. Hmm. They don't have Amber. So maybe I'll get out Torado? Although it would let him uh, draw a card with Umbrasaurus. I could just play Rad Penny anyway. Well, four Shadows creatures, but I don't really want to go into Shadows. I want to keep cycling. 
if I go into Logos and I play this Lethalogica, it would stink if I drew like half of the Ultra Gravitron. I guess in that case, following the rule, I would hold it because I can probably sustain the chain because they haven't done a lot of stuff yet. Alternatively, I could just go untamed, set up my anti-steal, because they have a second citizen's tricks, and then I could draw into hopefully one more Logos card. I also have the Dino Beast, although unfortunately that doesn't take out any of these things. I like the untamed. So let's see here. I think I might want to exalt the Dino Beast because it has the skirmish. Could exalt the Cephaloist. I think I'll yeah I'll do the Cephaloist. And I don't think I will shoot anything. Because nothing is destroyed. And it's not like doing the three damage makes them easier to destroy. Or it will make it so that they just are destroyed when they fight my stuff. And for Captura. Oh, this is one of those capture heavy. Oh, and it has Senator Brackus. Wow, that's cool. Hmm, well, I really would not like them to... They don't have Ludo, do they? They don't have a Ludo, that's nice. They do have Ancient Power, which would really stink. So I think I want to start clearing off their board. So let's play this Sacro Beast to draw. And I can go, this thing has Skirmish. Let's fight here. This thing. I'll have this fight this scout, Pete. Okay. So this way they have less amber to muck around with. Because. They're probably going to try to do like a Senator Brackus Ancient Power sort of play. And that would be probably unbeatable. So if I clear out their creatures before that happens, I can maybe stay in it. Like the Amber Lucian. Oh, let's go Amber Lucian. Yeah, I like this. Okay. Um, so I gotta fight this Joya first, unfortunately. But now I get two reaps. Aha, they don't get to steal with the Shrix, I guess, so that's kind of nice. Is it? And now I get my daughter. That's kind of cool. Ooh, two Lethalogicas and half an Ultra Gravitron. And I can play the standardized testing before the Gravitron is played. Yahoo! Ah, they take me off check though. Dang it.
Okay. Well, yeah, back into Logos, right? Okay, so... What does the standardized take out? I guess the daughter, unfortunately. Well, everything's threes and fours. So how about I do it like this? I could fight the citizen Shrix with the daughter. Oh, let's just do this, I guess. Um, I search. Okay. And then I can do another Lethalogica. Okay, and then... Oh, don't play this yet. I'll play that after the standardized testing. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I fight the... Gorvin all. Take that ward off. Reap with this. Draw another card. Standardized testing. Uh, let's see. Draw another card. Ultra Gravitron. Archive 5. <laughs> Daughter. Oh, yeah. Look at these combos. Not even a combo, just like common, common logos cards doing work. <laughs> hey, Zoke. Did you see that turn? <laughs> yeah, they just forged a key, but I did a lot of stuff. Aw, oh, this darn monument to Shrix. It's so good. Aw, oh, what? They took me off check? Man, this deck is crazy. Alright. I can do logos again, though. Right? And fights and stuff like that. Oh, I got an archive. I got a booby trap. A booby trap and a mug. I can take all this stuff out. Ooh, that sounds fun. Let's go. Oh, they don't have anything to steal. Lame. That is more cards, though. Ah, oh, I wish they had Amber to steal. Do I just go Logos and fight and purge? Hmm. I would like to get as many creatures off as possible. Uh, I guess this doesn't that didn't take out the Vemos Lightbringer either. Hmm. Nah, I'll just hold these, I guess. Trying to control their board as much as possible. Oh, woohoo. Fortunately, the. Do they have a. Do they have a defense initiative? Because the ancient power is gone. Oh, they do have an axiom of Grisk. That could. Uh, that could end everything. Could end. Ah, darn it. Hmm. They're doing too good of stuff. Thankfully, the Brackus didn't come out that turn. Myers, go! I don't have a way to take out this Dark Centurion well.
Wow, the amber control in this deck is off the charts. Hmm. Well, kind of lacking amber control in Star Alliance. So it's really the... It's really the Captura, like, shoring up the amber control in that house. I suppose it has a subject Kirby, so you could play, like, a Citizen Shrix out of it or something. Well, I will steal. It takes them off check. Unfortunately... These are a problem. The amber is flying. This is trouble. Hey, wait, where's the Brachus? They've been through their whole deck, so it's in their hands now, right? What do I do about that? Standardized testing takes out Brachus, maybe? Now, Brachus is 5 power, isn't it? Actually, putting Scalpede on top is... Not good. Because that lets them discard the thing I put underneath underneath it. It's not even five power, it's four four power. Oh. Axiom of Grisk being good. Well, I am on Team Axiom, so that's cool, at least. Hmm. Come here, Qmex. Oh, let me play this thing. Always Lethologic is first. Ooh, the testing! Hmm. Doesn't do enough, unfortunately. Just takes out this ward and this thing. Hmm. Maybe I like wait and fight the fight the Kimex off next turn, and then it does destroys more stuff. But they just forge with all of this. Done. Yeah. 
yeah, that's going to be a hard one to overcome, so. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, the Ultra Gravitron came out. Benji! So... Were there any points in that game where maybe I could have done something different? I mean, they kind of had, like, infinite amber control there, so... I wasn't forging. I think I destroyed all their creatures, like, as many creatures as I could at all points in the game. They are on Mass Mutation, Eric's Daltier, Les and Sarah. They are on Ultra Gravitron, Triple Rad Penny, The Sting, ba Borrow. Nasty. Oh, look at that! Ha ha! Got him. Do they have. No, they don't have standardized testing, at least, so let's do that. Woo! Go! Go, go, Ultra Gravitron. Got a nice archive off of that, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, what now? What? These things must be destroyed! Or do I go into Untamed and shuffle the Ultra Gravitron back in? <laughs> nah. That's not that useful at this point. That would Because that would just like reset the archives and my hand would be the same. I have the Amber Illusion, though. Booby Trap not taking stuff out. Alright, going Logos, I suppose. Lethalogica into Lethalogica. Into daughter. Nice. Okay. Auto encoder. And what are we fighting? What are we fighting? Ah, let's fight Dinobot, because it's the biggest. And then discard Song of the Wild to purge Cronus. Huzzah! Alright, so how can they destroy the Gravitron? They have Tempting Offers and Lights Out, which they won't want to use on it. Mm, Fangtooth Cavern. There are other creatures out now, so that will be hard to, to do that with. So it looks like my Ultra Gravitron may be here to stay. Hmm. Okay, so what do I do now? Shadows? Makes sense, keep the cycling going. If I do the Infomorph, it does get put back one of their pennies, but I'll have to deal with that. Ah, see, this is a, this is a case where I'm not aggressive with auto encoder, right? That was established. So I could have dis I, I didn't even think of discarding these to the auto encoder, but that may have been reasonable. Ah, I could have purged a penny. Okay. Could still be could still be in Penny's future. Could purge this one maybe.
Mutagenic Serum and Opposition Research. Very interesting. Well, I will go Logos. Okay, it's coming. We'll do nothing, but I want the Amber. Okay, now I will discard this Infomorph for the Archive. Haha! -ha! And it's an Untamed card. How lucky. And Donner doesn't need shoulder id protection. And then I will fight Old Bruno and discard Niffleape to purge Rad Penny. Mission complete. Delta pressure. Oh boy, I'm pressuring you with my Delta. Yeah. Takes me back to the early days when I was just trying to spam Star Alliance boards. Who has deltas these days? Everyone's just blowing everything up. Hmm. Shadows again? Oh, yes. Time to pressure. <laughs> yeah, look at the delta. <laughs> All right, gotta steal with this. Gotta steal with this first. I'm actually gonna discard this dark wave. I don't want to destroy my daughter. But nothing does a steal, so I guess they get. I should probably hold this. Yeah, they'll they'll get to forge, but I wasn't gonna stop that, I suppose. It's okay. Actually, that's kind of the thing with shadows in mass mutation is that your shadows delta is surprisingly high usually in mass mutation decks because a lot of the shadows things in this set are effects, like play effects on creatures. I think it might be like subtle auto is a big player in that is because the subtle auto effect or the the subtle effect was put onto a creature wait what's going on here why didn't i forge am i oh yeah miasma bomb okay 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 yep all right what are they doing next they're not gonna they don't have taxing no no taxing Okay. Oh, the animator. That's interesting. They could, like, fight their own sting off, right? Using that. Uh, let's get rid of this Techno Beast, I guess. Okay. Now I have Rizzo for the taunt. Steel. Oh, I can blow up their sting! Woo! Look, look at that! Oh, now they don't get their bonus, or they don't get my amber. Hooray, Nexus! Oh, come on, come on. Is this game ours? Uh oh kitty. What is it now? What is it now, kitty? Oh, they're on check for their second key. And so are we. It's Shadows time! Let's go! Let's just go Shadows all the time. Yeah. Use your Minogenic Serum.
they stop me somehow? They could have a bunch of rad pennies. Do they have a big stealing play in shadows? I don't steal one. I don't see one. No Pismire. So I think I might be good. But let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, it's that mass mutation mass mutation shadows delta. Oh look, I don't have enough amber already to forge? So unlucky. Oh, I can steal too with bone knithing. Wow. Wow. Wow guys. Wow. <laughs> this was kind of silly. Wait, is this the one with... Yeah. Should we do a rematch? Let's see if they want a rematch. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Aw, they left. Aw. May you want to... You don't want an Ultra Gravitron rematch, man? Alright. Woohoo! Benji Cot's first win! Let's go! Oh. Yeah, that's what happened. It was just like Shadows five straight turns in a row. And. Hmm. Shadows. It was just Shadows. Establish a shadows board and reap, and the opponents cannot blow it up for some reason. Because I have two shoulder hits? Uh, what's going on with this deck anyway? What's going on with this deck? It has eight shadows creatures, so it is a good number, but not not a crazy amount. Eight number eight is on the higher end, though. That deck was. I mean that that um, that game was was pretty lucky because off the I had Ultra Gravitron turn one, and then. The Ultra Gravitron archived four untamed cards. The times I archived off the top of the deck, it archived an untamed card. And I had, like, almost all of my Shadows creatures come out within the first... I think it was, like, the top... Probably the top half of the deck. Yeah, I'm not sure how far into the deck I got there. If it was like a lot through the deck, then I guess that was just a, the fault of my opponent's deck for not being able to destroy it. Hmm. All right, let's try this Eaton's Jar one. Whoa, Ronnie's here. If you have triple Ronnie, I'm gonna Eaton's jar it. Aha, they have one Ronnie wrist clocks. I can Eaton's jar their helper bot or their Archimedes. Helper bot or Archimedes? Hmm. Helper bot or Archimedes. Oh, look at that. Got half of this. Huh, do I keep this? Now, Mull. 
No, this isn't that good. Uh, mind fire, mind fire. Make their turn worse. Or something. Ooh, life ward. That's a beating. The opponent's deck looks really cool. Got some Yurks, Helberbots, Archimedes. I'm sure it would like a bouncing death quark, but no. Hmm. Sack of coins. They can use that to blow up a bunch of their own stuff with the Archimedes. No creatures, no matter. Logos. Okay. Discard this. Oh, I can play this effervescent principle. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and I blow up this. Oh, wait, what's the rule? All right, so if we have the first half and we can sustain the chains, hold it, otherwise discard it. Is the opponent going fast enough where we need to... I'm going to say no. I think we can hold it. They'll play these snorettes. Hmm. Okay, Eaton's Jar, nice. So I should go into Dis again and call Helper Bot with that, I think? Because when the if the helper bots are disabled, then the Archimedes aren't as good. I mean, they do have a bunch of other effects that are good. Maybe the Archimedes are a better. Nah. Ah, it's such a hard choice. Hmm. The helper bot is just so much utility. I'll fight the Sutterkin off. I guess I'll dump the Amber on this one. Hmm. I think, um... Ah, uh, they fight those? Darn. Well, I guess that was to be expected. But I think I'll go untamed here. The one problem with Scout is that it gives Anguish Skirmish, so I can't actually take them off check with that, but... I don't want to go this here. Wait, this isn't ready in fight, right? No. Okay, so this will fight Yancey Gang or Pip Pip. The gang. Get the gang. Discombobulator on Anguish. It's got that power. What about Discobobulator on Ultra Gravitron? Will we be so lucky? Well, actually, no, because we would have to hold this and this to do that, and that's not good. So that's not happening. Hmm. Right, they do have the stealing. Ooh, now they got the Delta. Look at their Delta. Got five Logos creatures looking fresh. Hmm. I will go Logos, I suppose. I can discombobulate 
and get this helper bot off so they have one less creature to reap with. Play these. And now I could hold the Gravitron, or I could... I guess I continue holding it. I mean, I said earlier... Well, I suppose if I committed to holding it earlier, then I should con continue holding it? But I was tempted to discard it there because, like, they're farther ahead. Maybe I should have discarded it because I'm looking for... Savage Clash? Hmm. Yeah, probably looking for Savage Clash or Opposition Research. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Delta. No. It's too big. Alright, I'm gonna go Logos and try to Wild Wormhole into the Savage Clash here. I don't want to do the Umber Bot first because if that actually draws it, then it won't work. Oh, it was an Ultra Gravitron! Ugh! Ah, uh, well, hey, at least now I can. <laughs> okay, so. Hey, it wasn't the Savage Clash I wanted, but hey, I get an Ultra Gravitron instead, right? Okay, but I'm going to play the Titan first so I can tax them for one. Alright. Got the Clash in the Archive. Got a Dark Harbinger. Yeah, I could get a big turn with Dark Harbinger. Eh, kind of a big turn. Let's see. Do I wipe the board? I think I do. I have to, right? Yeah, I have to destroy this. It's too big of a board. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's fun. All right. Oh no, they keep it because the because the savage clash. No! No! No, they, they're stealing my Ultra Gravitron. Darn them. Oh, I have a gateway to Dis in this deck, too. Woo! Let's go. All right, I'm going to try to find my... Oh, and actually, finding the Ghost Hog doesn't help at all. No, I will fight. I will fight. Let's go fighting... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter... Oh, I guess fight the Pip Pip? Okay. Add to hand. I can add the Ghost Talk to hand. Nice. Okay, and then move Drekker to the bottom. Okay, and then... Can... Well, let's see. Uh, If I... Now I'll play this first, I guess. Okay, and then this will fight and be destroyed so that I can have something other than the... Uh... Okay, so how... No, I guess it doesn't matter how I how I order these. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. Okay. And then Um No! Where's my Wait, where's my Didn't I have a Dark Harbinger? Or am I going crazy? Where's the Dark Harbinger? Oh, I guess I didn't. Was that destroyed or something? Was it on the battlefield? Um, let's see. If 
Fury. Oh no! Yeah, it was the Gong Goozle. Crud. Ooh, Merkins. Ha! They get an Infomorph with a with an Amber. Hey, at least I got my Cephaloist. Hmm. Make the info more for Dusk Runner, eh? Hmm. Well, I'll purge their stuff. Hmm. Not really liking my options here, but Miasma and Backup Copy will be purged. Okay. So I suppose I'll go back into this. Oh, the Ultra Gravitron isn't going to get shuffled back into my deck. That stinks. Aha! Gateway to this! Discarding two helper bots. They left me the Infernus with which I will reap. Reap. Destroy. Main reaction. Bone saw coming and ready. Reap. Let's go. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. So break key. Yeah, not really doing that much in this deck. Ooh, effervescent principle. Could that work with effervescent principle? Maybe if I like bought booked in into it. Uh I need to draw a snarette. I think I want to take out the Amber Imp so I can reap. Ooh, Effervescent Principle. Come on, let's bring it back. Bring it back. The gangs! They got gangs. Ouch. Aha, well thankfully, it will survive.
it will survive a single use. Hmm. This might not be enough. Time for mind fire. Well, and Snoret. Okay, that didn't work. Ha! <laughs> Are they just gonna finish it with shadows? Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Well, that was that was the ticket to victory. Well played, Runny. Rematch! He didn't leave immediately, so let's go. Let's go, Runny. Ah, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> No rematch from Ronnie. Okay. Hmm. I think that was just the first game with that deck. Hmm. Oh yeah, this deck has three Snarets. Yeah, okay, so this is pretty solid creature control. Gateway to Dis, Savage Clash, Bouncing Death Quark. It's gonna destroy your own stuff too, but... You got some tools to take care of the board. Anti-steel. So I suppose it's lacking in this expected amber. Hmm, what are possible ways to improve the expected amber? It's kind of hard to do so. Hmm, oh, Fandangle. Oh, oh, oh. Fan angle. Hmm. Fan angle ghost hawk. Hmm. Dark harbinger. How many actions? One, two, three. Could potentially have a good Fandangle turn. That could be some good Amber generation. This disc is pretty slow. So I guess I'll avoid playing Logos for as long as possible. Ah, 
another AOA deck. Ha, this one has four helper bots and two Archimedes. And the Sting and Ronnie Wrist Clocks. Isn't that funny? If they're playing AOA Logos. <laughs> There's going to be some combination of Helper Bots and Archimedes. Oh, the Delta! Man, the AOA decks are crushing me on the Delta, isn't that right? Wow, they had a Desania to counter my Ultra Gravitron play, so... Luckily, that is out of the way for now. I think they could have even, like, played... Desania next to an Archimedes to get it back for later. And the Sting being out now is good because I'm going super, super slow. And... Ooh, how many routine jobs do they have? Oh, only two. Can they get the Ronnie back somehow? Not really. Uh Oh <laughs> Ultra Gravitron, nice. <laughs> Super lucky. I, do, of course, don't know the the statistics of, like, actually how lucky that is. But it sure feel to, feels like it is. AOA Deltas, no! No! I do have board wipes. Where are my board wipes? I know what I will do. Aha, they burnt all their good cards before my Ultra Gravitron came out. That's sweet. Oh, look, the Savage Clash. Now that this is my only creature, if I play it, it survives. That's pretty sweet. Ah, uh, but I don't have anything else to go with it. It's literally just Savage Clash, Dark Harbinger. Hmm. I could Infernus. No good targets there. Not really. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I'll do it. And they get to keep their Titan mechanic, right? So they're still forging for cheaper. Whoa, all this purple. Mmm, so pretty. Oh no, they disdained me. Oh, I did that. <laughs> Didn't I do that? All right. All right. <laughs> Have to get blown out 101. Um All right, break key. Amber conduction unit gone. All right. Yeah. Um Infernus. Purge! Well, I guess I gotta make him lose stuff. Oh, they only have one Amber bonus in there. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Alright, I'll get rid of the... Now I'll get rid of a routine job? Yeah, routine job. No, I'll get rid of both routine jobs. Haha! <laughs> what now? Ha 
Ha, <laughs> discarding my it's coming. Whistling darts. Yeah, yeah, anguish taxing. Hmm. I'll fight the Desania. How about that? Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Hmm. Man, I'll reap. Huh. Do you think that's an AOA characteristic? A characteristic of AOA? Seems to be. They have the helper bots. I got a helper bot instead of phase shift. Kind of like how mass mutation got subtle auto instead of subtle chain. Do they have the car? Oh yeah, they do, okay. Uh, I guess not. Hmm. Oops, should have gotten the harvester. Not the snurrets, no! Okay, it's over. Go, go, gadget rangers! Destroy! All right. All right. Dang it, Pythus. How much will s 10 SAS points change things? Let's go to from Mutant's Wood Philosopher to Philosopher Tattoo's Sending Six. I think I played this deck like one time on stream before, maybe? Or a couple times? What, like a couple games or something? 
but it's Ultra Gravitron time! This deck likes to punch things with smite. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tropic swirl your bad penny. Yes, it's so evil. Simon. Oh, look at this turn. Look at this big old turn. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Aww. <laughs> they got me. All right, all right. Logos, that's, um... <laughs> well, I have this autoencoder and and I will discard a dimension door for auto encoder value. Hello, Ketzer. Look, I got the free markets in the archive. Perfect. Hmm. Simon. Why you gotta be here? Oh, wait, I'm just gonna shoot you. Hmm. And I got a Whale of the Damned. Nice. Do I take out the Thera Centurion? Yeah, I'll do this Thera Centurion. I got two Whale of the Damned in this deck. That's pretty neat. All right. Oh, Cinder? Okay, I can protect Squire Alice. Do I want to capture another one on the Squire Alice? I'll just put it on to Cinder. Protect Histrocog, because it damage it destroys things. It can destroy the Histrocog can destroy the Odwak later. Okay, so now got the got the it's coming. So first rule coming into effect. Gonna hold it. We get until we get the other half. Draw with QMAX, see what that gets. Nope. Novu Dynamo. Okay, capture onto I'll capture onto the Histrocog. And then I'll damage the Yancey gang. And that means that. Histrocog can blow up the anti gang whenever it so pleases. Whoa, Quixelstone! I didn't know what we were up against. Quixelstone and triple. Whoa! Whoa! You're dismissed, Novu Dynamo. This stream is about Ultra Gravitron, not you. Okay. Um. Well, I guess I'm playing Dis because I kind of want to, like, get these Amber bonuses. So. Playing. They didn't stop me. Oh, yeah, the Quixel Stone. Okay. Is there a way of... Getting down, getting my creature count down? Uh, not really. 
I guess I'm not playing the Infernus. This thing reaps, destroys Cumex. Then... A Cloaking Dongle, okay. So let me see, if I fight the... I forget how this works, but I'm gonna fight the Yancey Gang. And then before the fight, I deal damage to Chan. Okay, so that does work. I action to get rid of the Odawak. Nah, I'll do the Yancey Gang so they can't steal from me. And I guess I have to discard the Infernus. Oh well. Well, hey, I got the dis. I got the dis board. And these disc creatures, I can use them to fight. Oh yeah, uh, wait, auto encoder. Wait, I don't have auto encoder here. Well, it's not out yet. It's uh, it's still in the, it's still in the deck, or was it blown up? Did they blow it up? Oh, it's blown up. <laughs> oh wait, um, yeah, okay, pay attention, please. Um, me. I... I should pay attention. Ooh! Oh! Um, okay, free markets first. And then... Mutagenic Serum. And then I can use Histrocog to take care of Odawak. Let's go! And then... Oh, whoops, I missed a, I missed a capture. Oh, this is so cool! Check this out. I get to I get to ready and reap with my squire Alice. Yeah, capturing everything. <laughs> oh wow, this is funny. Let's go, squire Alice. Let's go. Oh, they had too much to protect. Aww. Dang it. Too bad. You're gonna have a waking nightmare. Oh, wait, hold on. Um. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's... Yeah, I wasn't looking at that at all. Uh, why why aren't these? Can I not use these or something? Oh, Inky Gloom. Aw, Inky Gloom. Okay. Actually, none of the, okay, yeah, whatever. I guess all I'm doing is taxing them. It's okay, I don't entirely regret not playing around that card. Hmm. Oh look, Ultra Gravitron! Oh, there's nothing in the draw. Dang it, I'm gonna reshuffle. Wait, but then I can't, oh, it doesn't work if I do that. Wow. Okay, I'm doing this anyway. All right, so let's see. Oh, I can't play these. Okay, getting the hang of this, uh... Getting the hang of this. Oh, no, I don't want him to use that thing. No, Histrocog. Wait. 
Can I not reap now or use my action now? What's going on? <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> Why can't I use my thing? <laughs> oh, it's enraged. Okay, it's enraged. Ah, oh, It's enraged. Getting, getting so messed up. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Well, this way I have the I have the grim reminder. So I'm gonna grim reminder. Ah, oh, but I can't play any of that stuff. Shrieks. Ah, oh, it's okay. I got Gabos. Oh, but they have Imperial Forge. Jeez, Imperial Forge. Oh, now I give them Amber back with this, and that would win them the game. Darn, I played bad. Hmm. No, and the last card is the, is the half. What a waste. What a darn waste. Ugh. I can't... Oh. What a... Okay, this thing is still enraged. Oh, no. No. Yeah, okay, you know what? You know, just have everything. Just have everything. I'm, I'm done with this. Here, you, you can just have this, too. Have this. Have that. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> oh, was, there's, like, nothing I could do there. All the cards were, like, anti-synergy. Oh, man. Let's see. Maybe they want a rematch. They're sticking around. Nope, no rematch. Okay. Huh. All right, all right. So, if you got Ritual of Tognath, you can't put Amber on all your creatures, because then you can't blow them up. Makes sense. And the ultimate failure... Ultra Gravitron was not played. Yeah. Yeah, that was the best ending I could have done, I think. Was it the first rule? Hmm. I did hold it. Would that have been different if I didn't hold that? <laughs> nah, nah, that wasn't my mistake. Hmm. Okay, the philosopher. The philosopher will come back. Come back with a vengeance.
Hmm. It's like, didn't I in Tropic Swirl a bad penny that game? I guess that somehow left. Ooh, that double, that turn with a double commandeer. That was sweet. Oh, they didn't have any creatures. That's why it was so cool, because I got to reap with the Squire Alice. Hmm. Wait, so I guess the Smite has a capture? No! Aha! Start with a ritual! That's a good way to start. Ooh, I could have sacrificed the cinder to the ritual and then Bonesaw would have come in ready. One half of the Ultra Gravitron. Hmm. I think I'll be stubborn and hold on to it. Hold! We got this daughter too, so that helps. Okay, so they're on mass mutation. Have a reverse time. Hmm, not sure how relevant that is. If I borrow? Oh, I guess so I can't play my auto encoder. Got some Niffle Ape action with Savage Clash, Lost in the Woods. Oh, they're going fast. This is what I didn't want. Okay, let's go dis, dis, um, yeah, dis. Get rid of their creature control? Let's get rid of their creature control. Odd Clod, so if I reap twice, I'll just fight this Odd Clod. Get out of here. So now they have no creatures again, so Smite works on my Sanctum creatures as reaping tools. Yes. Oh no. This doesn't bode well. Okay, now I have no creatures. Oh! If I destroyed my Gabos, then the Lost in the Woods would have returned my Infernus. The Lost in the Woods would have returned the Infernus. Here we go! Smite for the Reap! One stood against many. Hmm, they destroyed a demo thief to steal. I guess Squire Alice is going to be swirled. 
We're gonna be swirled! Oh wait, that only has one trait. Yeah, Squire Alice isn't a knight. Sanctum. Free markets. Mm. Commandeer. Mm. Bulwark. I guess I can take out the, N the Niffle Queen. Sure. Gives them their amber back. Ultra Gravitron! Yeah, this deck can Grim Reminder the Ultra Gravitron. And then that deck that I played the other day had the Matter Make, or Mind Over Matter. So that had that way to replay the Ultra Gravitron. Oh, now we're into Fang Tooth territory. Let's put down this. Scribner Favian. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Commandeer first. Commandeer first. Wait, no. No, I want to steal first. Hold on. Yeah, I just want to make sure I can steal. Steal. Commandeer. Capture. Ready it. Reap. Aha. Keeping the board clear. Making the smites good. Well, it looks like we got out of the uh, Age of Ascension neck of the woods, right? Oh, it can't be a knight because it's a squire. Ah. Is that my... Is that like my ignorance of medieval culture getting to me? Alright, Ultra Gravity... Capture! Archive! It's coming! Capture! Ultra Gravity... Auto Encoder! Capture! Alright. Hmm. Do I go dis next? I like these cards. I don't want to discard them to Ultra Gravitron. Well, yeah, they'll discard all their creatures now, right? Yeah, that's that's what they'll do. The robot is no more. <gasps> Grim Reminder! Grim Reminder time! Yes! <laughs> okay. Wait, so do I pull the archive? Nah, let's not pull it. No. No, we're gonna... Gonna make the archive even bigger. Oh, wait, but I have to pull the archive. Ah, uh, I have to pull the archive to get the Gravitron back. All right, what's in there now? Yeah. 
<laughs> yep, haven't read enough um, medieval fantasy books, I guess. So, do I Gravitron it up? Now this reshuffles. Capture. Merlin, I should check that one out. Setzla's Undine, the Vigorous and the Unclean. Hmm. Is there like a okay? Let's try some. Let's try some stream hacking. All right. Uh, I click this thing. Oh, working on your live stream. Whoa. Borrow. Hmm. Text. <laughs> Two auto encoders. <laughs> I let them have it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did point that out at the beginning of the game, and then I promptly forgot about it. Because apparently today I'm not paying very close attention to what the opponent is doing. But that's okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. We have done the impossible. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's go Sanctum, I suppose. Mm. Okay, so play the Fabians. I guess I just play everything. Yep. Um, capture. And then ready. Ready and reap. Let's go! Oh, effervescent principle. How dare they? Shoot the anguish with the gabos. Let's play 
a cinder and wail the seeker of truth so that the bone saw comes in ready. Then I will just discard this. Oh, they leave this leave the Scrivener. Oh no, they don't. Gonna capture. Capture. And this time I capture onto the Cumex. Because we can't guarantee that the Novu is gonna live. <laughs> uh, I suppose I discard the Ultra Gravitron this time. They're playing with their food. Did he? Oh, well, mm, okay. Now let's see if this thing works. Streamlabs is very slow. Whoa, what's that? What are you doing, Streamlabs? Oh, it's not working anymore. Oh, there we go. Color picker. Okay, pick white. All right, does that work? Okay. That works. Alignment. Left. Top. Not sure what that means, okay. Outline? Sure, I'll outline it. Oh, I gotta put the... Gotta put the text in. Okay, so let's see, for example... If I have to edit the text like this every time, then it would be really inconvenient. It does have that read from file option, I guess. Okay, well, maybe I could uh, use that thing to put the name of the decks that are on the screen. It's gotta be some nice way to provide deck links and stuff. 
Let's go, philosopher. This one gets EG up to a whopping 8.65. Oh yeah, still haven't gotten this this auto encoder Nobu Dynamo combo going. That was the other thing I wanted to do. Whoa, double. That's a weird start. I guess I could go with the two disc cards there. Okay, no Lomi or Flame Fist, no Burn the Stockpile. Has a library access and scrambler storm. And a spangler box could be interesting. Well, they start off with a scramble storm. Get the Scrivener Fabian. Okay. I think I go Sanctum just to play these out. Hmm. Do I go Logos? Autoencode, discard Dimension Door, hold it's coming. Ooh, Spangler Box. That could work against the Ultra Gravitron, which is cool. Oh, that's a Qmex in the archive. Cute. Won't get the Grim Reminder combo this time. I guess they have a fair amount of creature control between the two Coward's Ends and the Spangler Box. The Gateway to Dis, lots of stuff going on there. Let's do... Oh, this grenade snip is annoying. I guess I won't destroy it. I don't think I want to gain a chain to capture one. So let's also discard this. Oh yeah, auto encoder. Hey, let's discard Gabo's long arms too. Yeah, 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 discard stuff. Auto encoder. Nobu Dynamo. 
I can do Nobu Dynamo Auto Encoder, Ultra Gravitron, everything. I can do it all. All right, this is the game. This is it. The war chest. <laughs> oh, what is this? You're playing this, hoping that I play a bunch of creatures so that you can destroy them all and gain a bunch of amber, huh? Is that what, what, what? Well, that is what I'm doing, huh? I'm going to do that. Or, or do I go Sanctum first? I could go Sanctum first and bait them. Let's not play into their board wipe. Sanctum, free markets. Aww. Don't go up to check because I fought that thing. I had to fight the thing. Oh well. Alright, come on, use your coward's end. No, back into Logos. Okay. I can just play auto encoder or I play the ultra gravitron. Let's do that because it brings me to check. And I can take them off check. Nice. Okay. So first I play it's coming. Okay, capture, get this, play Ultra Gravitron, capture. Okay, and then I, let's see, what do I draw? We've got a bunch of Logos cards to draw. Let's draw one with the uh, with the QMX. Nope. Archive more, and Novu Dynamo. All right, Novu Dynamo Auto Encoder. Well, I got no Logos cards in hand, so. It's not gonna archive an additional one. So I can discard the Diametric Charge to the Novu Dynamo and then use the Sanctum cards in here to discard to the Ultra Gravitron. Oh no, they Spangler boxed it. Okay, well I'm going to do a whole bunch of hurt with Dis. Okay, so what do I want to be blown up? All right, so first I will play Infernus. Let's look at their discard real quick. Yep, there is stuff. Okay, so the opponents will purge their Scrambler Storm and the um, Fogify? Okay, and then I Ritual Tognath, destroying Cumex and Infernus. Oh, dang it. <laughs> they, 
That was the that was the damage bonus, not the not the effect. Okay. Um because I have Oh wait, I don't have a bone saw. Okay. Never mind. Okay, that doesn't help much. Alright, but then anyway, so I got this. Oh, I can whale of the damned there thing there. Oh, I'm still not on check. Darn it. Could have been furnished the Tognath. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I did not think of that at the time. But yeah, that's true. Hmm. Sanctum. Oh, and I got all this stuff to do. I got a smite. I can capture and steal. Steal and use the Vault Keeper to fight off the troll while it's damaged and vulnerable. Red Hot Armor. Ouch. Hmm. Aha! Spangler Box! Oh, I'm gonna purge their dust imp. <laughs> uh, and let's see. I entropic swirl. I can I could swirl my daughter. I don't really want to do that though. So I'm swirling the looter goblin. And I got. Oh, I'm not. I'm, yeah, I'm still not paying attention, am I? I'm just playing cards. Uh, let's see. Oh, steel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> today we need today we need big sass to bring to bring the wins through. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so they have Arise stuff. Oh, just a succubus, eh? Destroy! Hmm. I could Grim Reminder my Sanctum, so let's do that. Get them cards back. Oh, and I could have discarded maybe Histrocog and Cinder to the auto encoder. Are we going to have a big library access turn, possibly? I like that the Spangler box is getting action this game. That's a lot of fun. Oh, I got all the stuff in the archives. Yeah. 
Because I did that. I put those there. Okay. Free markets! Commandeer! Oh yeah, I should commandeer before the free markets. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This deck is so nuanced. Um, let's see. Capturing a bunch! Oh yeah, and Ritual of Tognath, you gotta leave... You gotta leave some cards without Amber on them, so that you can... Oh, Ah, the Seeker of Truth can't fight these things without dying. <laughs> How weak. Oh well, I guess Cinder takes out this one, and I use the Mutagenic Serum to have the Histrocog. I can just have this one reap. It's like they don't have um, cutthroat research, right? Oh, here comes the dis. Schuler. Charette. Aha, and I drew the ritual of Tognath. So my like distributing the captured amber possibly could have mattered. Get that out of here. Oh, and then I will Gabos and ping the ping the pit demon and then use the history cog to take out the pit demon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then and again I could do the Tognath. But they don't have a lot of amber, so it doesn't matter this time, I don't think. Arise and Gateway to Dis? Or I'll just do Gateway to Dis and Charette. And then boom! Oh no, I did the thing again with the damage. Darn it. I keep um, using the... Um, keep using the damage instead of like clicking my target. Hmm. Thank you everyone for joining. That was the Ultra Gravitron stream. Had some cool plays in there, right? Did some cool stuff. Maybe got blown out by scaling Amber Control once or twice. And it's like, I could have played around that if I played a little more attention, but you know what? Let's just have a big turn. <laughs> Let's just have big turns. Thank you all for joining. I should be back later this week with more Keyforge gameplay. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.